Hello, and welcome to this video. When you watch this, you'll be fine with everything, and all the good will come into your life. Accept and welcome it. Enjoy the video and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Why would Source continue to love when somebody doesn't deserve it? Because from the perspective of Source, they always deserve love. And if you choose to not love someone, then you pinch yourself off. Hmm. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so when people do bad things and I merely innocently observe the badness that they do in my choosing to push against them, I cut myself off from source. And we say the operative words are you cut yourself off because source is still there for you. Isn't it nice to know that you have guidance within you? that lets you know at all times what your relationship is with that broader perspective. Do you know you have that broader perspective? Do you know it's available to you? You know that even though you're in these bodies, that that larger part exists and is aware all the time, interested in this moment, in this powerful moment, in this powerful moment where who you are and who you're letting yourself be have the potential of converging, but you hold the power of the convergence. Do you know that? So Abraham, does that mean that source can't love me enough to penetrate my hatred? That's what it means. Because you have the free will to choose whatever it is you give your attention to. You get to think the thoughts you choose to think. There's no negative repercussion in the sense that there is no assertion. You didn't exactly learn that from your parents, did you? <laughs> Seemed like there were negative repercussions when you disagreed with them sometimes. If they didn't like what you were doing, sometimes they tried to guide your behavior through their words or through their behavior or through withholding of things to you, a sort of punishment if you don't do what I say, then this bad thing will be your experience. But there's nothing like that in your relationship with Source because Source continues to love. And if you want to know how you know that, find a reason not to and feel the absence of your allowance of Source within you. And that also is the operative word, your allowance of Source within you. Because no matter what, that non-physical part of you, that source energy part of you is flowing to you and you have full access to it. You just have to practice yourself vibrationally into aligning with it. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's so easy to be in alignment with it. When you look around your world or up close at your space and you see something wonderful, it's easy for you to love, isn't it? You just observe a loving or a lovable thing and you love and it feels so good that you would like to demand everyone to be just like that when you sync up with that broader perspective you have access to the energy that creates worlds you have access to impulses and ideas and inspiration you have access to all of the things that you want you have access to everything you've ever wanted you have access to all that you've sifted and sorted to discover I know I don't want that I want that and when you discover something that you want it is held in a vibrational escrow for you we call it your vortex some people are annoyed with the concept but it's the way that it is you've been synthesizing life and you've been coming to personal conclusions and you have created a vibrational version of you a version of you that is happier a vibration of you that holds many things that you want who lives where you want to live and looks the way you want to look and lives with who you want to live with in other words there's a vibrational version of you that is intact a vibrational version that always precedes the manifested version so this gathering is about not only how to hook up with the vibrational version which you have over many lifetimes and especially during this one carved out the specific details of what you want to live hooking up with that vibrational version of who you are not just because 
you want to have those things and be those things and know those things that you've been looking for not just because you want the answers to your questions or the solutions to your problems but because only in that full alignment are you living the way you intended when you came forth into this physical body you said I'll go forth and I'll reach for more and I'll line up with the more that I've discovered and then I'll reach for more again and then I'll line up with the more that I've discovered and then I'll reach for more again more clarity more love more agility more physical well-being more mental stimulation more things that are exciting more things that are fun more life experience more 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 that's the mantra of this universe is why you come again and again and again it's why you continue to add to because you know at least you knew before coming into this physical body that you are an eternal being and that there is no ending to that which you are this life experience is perfectly established in order to be the perfect bouncing off place for you individually and collectively but personally to identify new intentions new desires new becoming new expansion so there is a basis of your beingness we call it a triad of intentions of freedom and growth and joy you are so free you can choose bondage you are so free you can choose thoughts that pinch you off from your resources you are so free that you can choose thoughts that are life-giving you are free to choose no one can think for you no one can offer a thought for you no one can vibrate for you and no one can be your point of attraction it's you it's just you you are so free that you can choose to feel however you want to feel in any moment freedom is the basis of your experience your quest is joy because when you reach for moments in time where you feel that rapturous joy that means you've discovered alignment with the whole of who you are if you let your quest be for joy then you'll always or most always be in alignment with the broader part of you and then of course the result of all of this is expansion you don't have to reach for joy in order to have expansion because life's going to show you contrast and you're going to continue to expand but you do have to reach for joy in order to live the expansion that you've discovered so if you feel negative emotion for any reason no matter how justified you are when you feel negative emotion you're simply not allowing the expansion that you have arrived at vibrationally and that is in fact you don't know it and you don't even want to believe it but we're gonna say it to you anyway that's the reason that there is a diminishment of joy every single time the reason you don't feel joy is because you're not in alignment with the whole of you and that's the only reason you're ever upset about anything Do you hear that the only reason that you're ever upset about anything is because you haven't let yourself be what you've come to the reason that you feel so angry or so upset or so disenfranchised or so victimized <clears throat> is because you're choosing something right here right now that is not allowing you to be in full vibrational alignment with all that you are and that oh we want to choose the most spiritual word we can find sucks <laughs> it's just awful it's just awful when you are not in alignment with who you are and that's why you get so you get so animated in your wanting to cast blame it just feels awful when you don't feel good doesn't it it just feels awful it feels awful because you're denying yourself the wholeness of who you are you're a diminished part of who you are you're not fulfilling your reason for being here in this moment however we would like to encourage you not to beat up on yourself too much about that because even in negative emotion there is value because how do you know what you really want how do you discover who you really are until you taste a little bit of what you don't want it's part of the deciphering process so as we are moving forward here today we want to if you want to and you do because we want you to no, no, it's not. we want to explore more fully the idea the really law-based idea that negative emotion is not a bad thing it's a good thing because it's a clarifying thing because it helps you to define 
more clearly the direction that you're wanting to go. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share it with someone who could use some motivation. God bless you all, and we wish you a pleasant day.